Peace, Salawam, Salawam. Kwa miyasala. Kwa hulo yimla. Ya hawa basim ya wasai. Ba Hashem. Kha ha kudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders. A great millstone who rule well. That by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. To the best of their ability. Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit and just wanted to touch on something that um Gordon Chang says. Um this is uh Gatestone Institute senior fellow Gordon Chang warned the US military is not prepared for war with China, urging Biden to prepare Americans for war after a Chinese drone drone was shot down over the Taiwan Strait. Chang joined Fox and Friends first to discuss why he believes War could be coming in a matter of hours as opposed to years. Okay, hey, you know, like I say, we just, you know, blowing the trumpet, man. Warning the flock, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your true nationality. You're not blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, none of these names that the so-called white man um, gave you during slavery. Because that's where those names come from. Before that, you were being called Hebrew Israelites. And they know who you are. It's just over generation to generation, they just beat white Jesus into you. Made you think that your Lord is some white guy. And still to this very day, our people go to all these denominations in these churches with all, all, all different denominations. But they're all telling you that the Lord is some white guy, <laughs> which is nothing. You know, it, that's not in the scriptures, man. The Lord is being described in the scriptures as a dark, melanated man. And it's high time to awake out of sleep because we're getting close to, to our Lord coming back. Getting very, very close, man. We, we're about there. Like straight up, man. It's only a few last major prophecies to happen. World War Three, which is on the brink, as you can see right here. You know, and 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 um, of course that that grain of rice they want to put into you, if you know what I mean. Go to Revelation thirteen sixteen. You know, um, where you you won't be able to buy or sell unless you accept this man's technology within your your body, man. But let's just get this guy. Let's see what he. Let's just play what he says real quick. Lock here. Hopefully it'll load up and play. Hey guys, oh, we are giving give you an ad. So lock you for the ad. Let's let this ride real quick. We'll skip that. And as the tensions mount in the South Chinese Sea, Taiwan firing warning shots at a Chinese drone that flew over an offshore island during military exercises on Tuesday. Taipei officials doubling down, vowing to counterattack if China enters its territory. Gordon Chang, senior fellow at the Gatestone Institute and author of The Coming Collapse of China, joins us now. Uh, you know, Gordon, is this more provocation or is this the real deal? Or should we all get ready for World War III here? Well, we certainly should get ready for a heightened state of tension. And I believe that the U.S. forces worldwide should move to DEFCON 2. Two things happened in the last few hours. One of them is Taiwan shot down a Chinese drone over one of its islets, Lion Islet, uh, which is four kilometers from um, the Chinese mainland. But more important, the Chinese refused to move their drone after the firing of warning shots. In other words, China is trying to provoke a crisis. And this crisis obviously can spiral out of control. And what we have right now is the situation which could very well end up in a general conflict in East Asia. You have a conflict in East Asia, a conflict in Ukraine, and that's really the beginnings of the world's next global war. Where's Joe Biden? How should he be responding? Joe Biden should be in front of a, tel of a television camera right now talking to the American people about getting ready for war. The, the Chinese are, are not only involved in, in what is the biggest military buildup since the Second War, what they're also doing is they're mobilizing the Chinese people for conflict. And we see this in any number of different ways. So this is a total society effort on the part of Xi Jinping, the Chinese ruler. Um, we don't know what's going on in the Chinese political system right now. The guess is that Xi has consolidated his power and he's now going after neighbors. If so, you know, the United States needs to be very firm in this. We need to be clear saying we will defend Taiwan to prevent the Chinese attacking. Anything can happen right now, Todd and Ashley. So, Gordon, is the U.S. military prepared for something like this? Can they handle this? Um, they're not prepared uh, for a number of reasons. First of all, the Navy has been broken for a decade. The Air Force is not in great shape either. 
Um, and also, the political leadership of the uh, in the Pentagon is not, I think, mentally prepared to fight a general war. You know, they're much more interested in, in things like, you know, woke culture and the rest of it. But also, they believe that if a conflict with China comes, it'll come no earlier than five years from now. And that's why they're retiring ships and planes. They need to be ready for a conflict with China in the next few hours, not five years from now. Well, the good news, Gordon, is that if the battle comes down to pronouns, it looks like we will win there mm -hmm. in the U.S. military. Uh, that is sarcasm. If Joe Biden had demonstrated strength throughout his term, when you look at places like Afghanistan, would China be doing what it's doing right now? I don't think so. When Afghanistan was falling, the Chinese propaganda was that that when China invaded Taiwan, not if Todd, but that when China invaded Taiwan, the U.S. would not rush to the island's defense. We, of course, saw not only the calamitous withdrawal from Afghanistan, but the failure of the West, the United States, the European Union and Great Britain to deter a far weaker Russia in Ukraine. I don't think so. When Afghanistan was falling, the on to prevent the Chinese attacking anything. Okay, so lock you. Yeah, that's, you, you get the gist of it. That's pretty much about it. Um, and, and China did tell, um, you know, Taiwan, like, hey, look, man, you see how they pulled out on Afghanistan? They pulled out of there. People was hanging all onto the damn airplane, you know, falling off the damn airplane as it's, 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 it's taking flight, trying to get the hell. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, America left them, them people in a real bold situation. And, and China told, you know, Taiwan, hey, look, you see how they get down? They're going to leave you, too. They're not going to be over here to help you like that. And then at the same time, too, I just done that lesson earlier, you know, with China, Russia, India, which is some of the, 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 um, the top five major nuclear powers. Or having war drills together, man. <laughs> so hey, we we are almost there, man. We we getting down to the get down, man. And, and of course, the, the same, you know, the scripture comes out. And, 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 and this truth is simple, man. Blow the trumpet, warn the people, let our people know that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites and that you're in the hands of your enemies. Because one thing that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't have is a military like how these people got. You just within, you're, you're just scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, living in these nations underneath their, their, their rule. Now here in the Americas, you can join their military. But you won't have no military of your own. You think these so-called white people will allow your ass to be flying some jets, having some drones, Navy tanks and, 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 and I mean, um, warships and shit, submarines. You will never get that kind of power if the so-called white man has something to do with it. You see, and, and don't join these people's the military, man. Stay out of their military. Let them fight. The so-called white man stole this country. Let him go fight for it. Why are you joining and especially right now, it's not a good time to be joining. And if, and if you can get out of there, you need to be getting on out of there, man. Well, let's get the, the prophecies, man. And, and like I said, the, the Lord, hey, he just said, blow that trumpet, man. Warn the flock. It's real simple. Uh, the Lord is coming, man. <laughs> that's that's it. That's 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 the good news that he's coming to get us out of our enemy's hands. Let these people scrap. Let them blow each other up. You see what I'm saying? Let them go for it. This is Matthew 24, verse 3, real simple. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and, de and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're in the midst of this, man. It's already popping. And this was said 2,000 or so years ago. So you have to know that we are very, very close right now. Because all these nations are, are tired of America. They're, they're, they're definitely, they're tired of America, man. Americans are even tired of America. Straight up. So we're at the brink of one of the, the, the very last major prophecies happening. It's about to go down out here, man. 
And in the meanwhile, like I said again, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, hey, there's nothing we can do. All we can do is wait on our Lord because we're powerless. Jacob is that worm out here. You, <laughs> we just a worm on the ground, man. Anything can, a damn car tire can roll us over. Damn bird can swoop down and swoop us up. Sun can dry us out. We're just that, that helpless worm. We don't have no might whatsoever when it comes to any of these nations, man. These nations have all kinds of military might, man. But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the only people on this planet that don't have a standing military. But you know what we do have? We have you. How about Shimi I was shy, man? The, 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 the host, man. The man of war. How about Shimi I was shy with his heavenly host? That's what we have, man, on, on our side. And it's greater than all these militaries on earth put together. We don't even need no physical. The Lord is going to do the fighting for us. Matter of fact, he's going to have them fighting against each other. <laughs> you know, before he comes and, and, and com completely annihilates this place, man. America is through. America's through, man. It's not coming back to the former glory. You can forget about it. The people here are too divided. Uh, I mean, come on, man. We're, we're there. We're here, man. But you got to repent. We pray to Yahweh about Shimei Awasha for mercy, man. Mercy that he would not blow out our candlestick or remove his Holy Spirit from us and hey, keep us in his pavilion, man. Trying to be under the wing and shelter of Yahweh about Shimei Awasha in these last days, man. Because it's about to get real rough. And you know who is going to be the rough, the most rough on? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Straight up, man. So repent. We're definitely there, man. Hey, and, and you can clearly see this man is completely shitting on, on the United States. They're telling you that because back in the days, man, look, none of these nations will be doing what they're doing right now back in the days. And you heard the lady said World War Three. All you're hearing about is World War Three these days and nuclear war. And you've never heard those particular topics being brought up like how they're being brought up today man and you know the so-called white man they're just some damn war mongers anyway all these military um, um or, or weapon um factories or weapon owners they they want to they want to sell weapons man the so-called white man don't care about how many people die <laughs> they hey but this is this is their last hoorah man the lord is about to take them out of power man and they're losing it right before our very eyes man so with that pray that this lesson was edifying and hey, keep your eyes on the on and hey, keep your eyes on this stuff man keep your head on the swivel keep on watching and praying with that Kwame Yashala.